I... I'm sorry, Tucker. But you heard Mahad's announcement. We're facing a Scenario 5 situation. Scenario 5? What the hell does that even mean? It means you have to die. We all do. If we don't, he'll just send someone over to do it for us. Come on, Valerie. Just put that down. I'm sorry. They don't have to know. I'm so sorry. I... <coughs> Not as sorry as I am, Commander. And if any one of them jacked up jarheads tries to come for me, they'll be sorry too. I see you. <laughs> Guess you were smart enough to make it past my lockout. So you must not be one of those no-neck dipshits from the General's Goon Squad. But before you go pat yourself on the back, no, that was the easy part. Your day is about to get a whole lot worse. All the infected soldiers, they brought them up here for safekeeping. You may think you can put a bullet in my dome, but I've got a ready-made army that says you can't. with everyone else or being the only one who survives. It's not the dying that scares me. It's not making a difference before I do. You, uh, you should be able to make it to the top of the conning tower now, I think. If Edwards is around, that's where you'll find him and his stash. Right. Congratulations. You found me. Kind of stupid, ain't it? I just wanted to live, and now that I'm the only one left, I couldn't give a shit. With all this time alone, I realize it's just like Sam said. I'm a lazy prick who never took one for the team. Well, team, you can hear me now. This one's for you. But I realize now why we couldn't be allowed to live. So if you found this and you're still alive, I guess I can finally do my part. Computer, blow all remaining charges. 